Now, right before a break, we just saw how easy it was for criminals, basically anybody to get their hands on stuff that literally knock out military bunkers. And the scariest thing is we were talking the break in Arizona, they could put that on their back and walk through right in the middle of downtown um, in broad to, daylight. Or go to a rally where the president is, which we've seen before. Yeah. We all think that's crazy, right? Yes. Okay, hang on. Republicans, got Democrats, we all think that's crazy. So can't we just say no to that? And that would be a bad thing. I mean, I spoke to people who think there could be bipartisan support to criminalize um, illegal gun deals, like gun trafficking. And if you start there, then maybe the other stuff opens up. But, you know, how much easier would it be, would your job be if you didn't have to worry about, you know, beefs turning into gunfire? It'd be extremely easy. Um, um, that's what we are dealing with in our community with gangs. I mean, uh, you disrespect, uh, I have a number of young people that tell you that if you disrespect one of the persons in the game, um, they're, they're, the retribution of disrespect is to take you out. And then if you take out not, one... Not to dinner. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> I mean, just to, to take, well, that's their language, to take you, to kill you. kill you. And then you kill one, then you kill another. And that's how our community is constantly, and, and that's the problem with Chicago and many of our communities. We have just been fortunate in the New York area not to have as much bloodshed as other parts of the United States of America. And that's because we do have some strong laws on the book uh, for people that get caught. And also, with as I've heard, yes. the gangs aren't as nearly as big an issue as you see on the West Coast or right. you even see in cities right. like Chicago and everything But also else. the laws, yeah. too. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. when you get caught, you got you automatic three years. Yeah. I mean, who wanna, and then you're a felon. Then after you're a felon, your life is ruined. See, African American, once you become a felon, you're ruined. You can't get student loans. You can't get federal housing. You're finished. So, so you know, sometimes people think about, and we tell these, we tell this to that our, our young Burr people. That story, as, as stupid as it was, that woke a lot of people up. That if you're caught with a gun, yes, um, even if you were self-inflicted, like right. you know, you, you, and he spent uh, three years. In well, just, just to go to the point of laws, you know, Arizona is one of I think four states that you can walk around with a gun without. Mm -hmm. A permit. Into a bar, drinking with into a loaded a church. weapon, into a church, yeah. the Sir, parks. And, the and look, I, I believe in background checks, and I think before, especially a 50 caliber, and with the damage <laughs> that it can do, this should have been a back. You shouldn't just be allowed to sell a 50 caliber like that. Or You're against driving tanks down the middle of Manhattan. Yeah, right? yeah. that too. Uh, <laughs> okay. you know, hellfire Rocket missiles, monsters, yeah. you know, all that <laughs> stuff I'm against. But look, it's a, it's a minute amount of states that allow this to, to take place. And yes, there has to be some type of tracking and some type of uh, background checks. Not only criminal background checks, but mental health background checks uh, if people are going to possess these type of weapons. And we always find the, the rational Republicans. Um, but there's not <laughs> enough of these guys. Yeah, That's the, the problem. problem. But then the problem comes down, people say, well, the privacy laws. You know, the United States America. They've already we, given we, up their privacy. Yeah, it's yeah, America. Yeah, they watch yeah. everything you do now. I think the health, yeah. welfare, and safety of an individual is more important than somebody owning a 50 caliber. I, we're, I working them. we're working on them. We're working on them. All right. We're going to wrap things up when we come back. See you later.